Head of Calhoun County's Building Services is facing more than 30 charges for allegedly running a pay to play scheme. 73 year old Ellie Dowling is accused of selling contractors licenses to unqualified people wanting to get in on all that Hurricane Michael repair work. As News 13's Anna Hoffman tells us, city officials say that they were completely in the dark about the scheme. The investigation into former Calhoun County Building Services Chief Ellie Dowling Parrish became public in January. But it wasn't until Thursday that Florida Department of Law Enforcement agents arrested Parrish on more than 30 charges related to a pay to play scheme. This is a list of all of the charges Parrish is facing one for fraud, nine for extortion, and 30 for bribery. Calhoun County officials received a public records request in January from the Florida Department of Building and Professional Regulations. They wanted copies of licenses issued by Parrish and the building competency tests that each of them supposedly passed. We didn't have any test results. There were a bunch of letters in our files that said this person made a 92 on this section and a 97 on another section, but no actual test. According to the FDLE arrest affidavit, Parrish charged at least nine applicants a total of about 4,500 for so-called testing fees. He's also accused of providing fictional documents to at least 32 of the people who applied for occupational licenses and competency cards. We did not know that that's what Dowling was doing. Uh, if that's what he was doing, we don't have any test results and we basically told the other counties who've con contacted us, we don't have any test results. Officials say Parrish violated the trust of both the county and its residents who are still trying to rebuild from the monster storm. In Calhoun County, Anna Hoffman, News 13, Panhandle Strong.